There's nothing more exciting than to be caught up in God's will. And that's where we are here at Cornerstone Church. We are in an exciting season of accelerated growth that we have not experienced in the 30 years of our church history. In just two years, our church body has doubled and we have broken all attendance and giving records during a season of decline in our nation and many other churches. We're seeing more and more people becoming fully devoted followers of Jesus. Um, we walked into church and immediately knew that, that this was the place we needed to be. We immediately felt connected to Pastor and His Word. Uh, you know, what we really struck us was really the people, and that people were very open to, to hearing the movement of God and really just wanting to move in close to God. It wasn't about the theatrics or it wasn't about, you know, necessarily being prim and proper or doing things right, but really seeking out what God wanted. What sets um, Cornerstone Church apart? Um, is the fact that the uh, members uh, of the church uh, act as not a community, but a family. When people are in need, they're always there for you. Uh, by a call, by going to your house, anything that you need, they're always going to be there for you. It's always been a church where truly the people's heart has been chasing after and running after God. Cornerstone Church was a, a work of faith. This was totally just trying to reach people, uh, reach the community, and tell them about Jesus Christ. Uh, we began in our home to uh, hold meetings, Bible study. Just what we learned from Bible study at their home just changed our lives. And the founding uh, principles were you know, building people up in Christ. It's the same thing now as we go along with Pastor Eric. So it was always uh, to touch lives and touch souls and build a solid foundation on Christ. Cornerstone isn't just about us. It's about the thousands in our community who don't know Christ, who are hurting, broken, and need salvation. God has called us to reach these families, friends, and neighbors, but our current facility will not allow us to fulfill that mandate. If we're gonna reach our community for Jesus, we need more room for fellowship, worship, discipling, and equipping. You know, it's certainly an exciting and challenging time right now in our church. We have just seen exponential growth, particularly over the last year or two. You know, each Sunday you come in, we are literally busting at the seams. No seats are available. We need to dismiss the kids early out of service just so people can find a place to sit. We joke quite a bit that some of our rooms serve dual purposes, or three purposes, or four purposes. Uh, I know that this church has grown so much that not only have we had to go to two services, but uh, we run out of seats very quickly. Having the, the children's church be at a separate location um, is a little bit of a challenge, especially when it's wet or it's snowing. You know, we're in here wondering, are, are they okay? Did they get there okay? It would be terrific to have the children's services uh, in the same building. Mm -hmm. Well, from the sanctuary, uh, all the kids go in line. I wake a long time, sometimes, sometimes. I run to the Jones Church. Well, when it's like a sunny day, like every Sunday, you just like go like a zigzag through the sidewalk over there. But when it's rainy days, there's gonna be some puddles there. So like then you have to like try to run if you don't have an umbrella or something. So you run, but you might slip. And so so when the new church is built, it's gonna be connected to here. And then sometimes when it rains or snows or something, you will have to get soaked or snow all over you. And parking. So, parking can be an issue as well, especially in that second service. If we're going to second service and we're running late, you know, we've seen cars turn, turn away because there's just nowhere to park in the parking lot. So, No, there's not much room there. You come a little late for service, you're in trouble to find a place to park. There's quite a few people who go to Sales House after church service. It's just a wonderful thing to walk in and have fellowship, but sometimes it is filled to capacity. You know, we're, we're in a time right now where, where people are searching out for God, and we want to be there so that we can be open, that we can uh, open our doors to them, receive them, and, and minister to them. So, you know, certainly one of our biggest challenges right now is, is getting new and bigger space so we can meet more people's needs. I remember praying, Lord, how can we do this? How can we build a new church, especially in this economy? 
His answer in my heart was this. It was simple. Build people to build a building, to build more people. As long as we focus on building up people, God will supernaturally supply the resources to build up His church. The Cornerstone family is expanding and we will more than triple the size of our church home. Through these new buildings, we will continue to reach and build people. Our parking area will more than double, allowing easy access to our expanded ministries. Our lobby will welcome Cornerstone family members and guests in an inviting and comfortable space. The Cornerstone Commons will serve as the fellowship hub for our church family, where community happens, and our new cafe will be a beautiful place to laugh, love, and grow in friendships. Our sanctuary, the Cornerstone Living Room, will be a multifunctional, state-of-the-art space where life happens as we worship God together. The new Children's Center will have a safe and secure check-in station where parents and guardians can introduce their children to an out-of-this-world children's ministry. The children's worship area will launch them into the real world of God as the Bible comes alive through puppets, multimedia, and illustrated stories. At Cornerstone, we are building people to build the building to build more people. Well, the exciting thing about Cornerstone moving forward is that the salvation of souls, the growth of people. I mean, if we're going to see revival in our country and revival right here in Cheshire, somebody has to be, have a vision of more and more and more people finding Christ and being built up in Him. The building of this church is not just the building of four walls and that's it uh, for a bigger and better place to stay. This is an outreach that will reach souls halfway around the world. I think if we're faithful and giving and doing what God would have us to do, He's going to show His hand mighty in this. You know, I, I feel that the church building is important, but people make the church. And um, God wants us to go out and share His Word and bring people home to heaven. When we expand, more souls are going to come into the kingdom. God's vision for Cornerstone Church is for us to open our doors even further to as many people as will come. I believe that our nation and our world are going to enter into seasons of great shaking, and people are going to look for answers and help that only God can give. As God's hands and feet, we need to prepare ourselves and our buildings to meet these needs. I want to encourage you to pray and to ask God how you can partner with us to invest in eternity. Let's come together. Let's build up.